to you. Is that on YouTube? Don't trust them. The monitor. No, no, no. It's a. It's not the monitor. Yeah. Sure. This is about 5 2. Can someone please change the order for the vent to the tidal volume 350 12 respiratory, please? Sometimes, if the ventilator is set to breathe too much, mm -hmm. people become very comfortable. Okay. And I'm trying to make it so that she wanted to breathe above it and on her own to take some bigger breaths. And they usually can wake people up. Okay. Um, so, who's talked to you guys so far? Uh, two neurologists so far, last night. Last night? Yeah. Okay. The, so, you talked after the MRI? Yes. So, the head CT was obtained today to look for swelling yeah. of the brain? Mm hmm And it's stable. Okay. I'm not worried about this morning scan. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, you can see swelling. Yes, you can see the stroke, but we already saw that on the MRI. Nothing new that I was worried about. The um, CT were following for swelling because the stroke and the back part of her head here, the cerebellum, it's in a very tight space. And she's kind of young to have this sort of thing happen, where the space is very tight. And when things swell into a closed box, it can press on things. And so that's why we also consulted neurosurgery to watch along with us. The treatment for it would be a surgery to kind of release pressure in the back, which we do often. The bone would, wouldn't have to go back because we have neck muscles to protect stuff. Um, but we're not at that point. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. I'm telling you what possibly would maybe not what is going to happen. Right now, what we need to do is see what we can do to wake her up. Um, I know she's not on any sedation, right? Right. Nothing's over there. So no sedation. Was there any sedation overnight? <coughs> really they stopped everything yeah. when she came back from the MRI? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So since yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So it was about 6 p.m. when she came back. So we'll, like I said, hold all sedation. We'll, she's already breathing above her ventilator before she okay. was there. I have it set to 12, and this is 14. Okay. This is her. Okay. So that's good news. That's good. So she's able to trigger her own breaths. That's good. Okay. I want to get it so she's making all of her own breaths, though. But, like, being 5'2", you don't really take big breaths on yeah. a daily basis anyway. So it's, yeah. if you breathe too much too fast, your body says, okay, you got this. I don't need to do anything. I want her to wake up, do something on her own. Right? <laughs> Um, your prognosis? We're less than 24 hours. Okay. Okay. So. I mean, where the strokes are and what the strokes look like. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know.
Um, so it's too soon to tell anything. Um, I want to give her a chance to like wear stuff off and wake up a little bit. And give yeah. her a day without sedation. Give her a day without it. Just see what happens. Hmm? She's sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. she's over. So that we get a feel of what she has going, right? I don't want I don't want to artificially say something that may not be the truth. You know. Let's let today pass. Okay. okay. Let's just kind of go from there. I'll have another NCT tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. So that we know what we're dealing with, and then can have another talk and figure it out. Okay. Were there any um, clots uh, besides the two that were removed? Not that I saw. No, okay. The hard part now is to figure out where they came from. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we have to try and figure all this out. Does she have a history of like, blood clots mm -mm. or anything? No. no. They're healthy. Yeah. Hmm? They're, they're healthy people. Yeah, yeah. She saw a blood specialist in uh, South Fairview oh, yeah? for a time being, but they couldn't find anything. Who was it? Bully? I'm not sure. Southdale? Yeah, Southdale. Uh, well, then it's in their chart. So we'll know to look for it now. Okay. Good. We'll see what that was all about. Was it the touch in Australia? We can also do interpreters, so you don't have to be in the middle mm -hmm. later if you want. Sure, it's fine. She are any mad right now, Dr. Mm Mina? -hmm. She are any mad right now? Mm -hmm. um, based on your experience, mm -hmm. when should people wake up with this kind of this, this kind of stroke based on your past experience I and mean, depending on where all the, all the results that you look at. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. So based upon our first MRI, I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't anticipate her to stay asleep asleep. So mm -hmm. if this remains, if she doesn't want to wake up for us, I would probably want to repeat an MRI mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. some point, maybe in a few days. Mm -hmm. Just because smaller strokes may take longer to show up. I got the MRI last night faster than I normally would. The reason being was where the stroke was. So that stroke down here scares me. Okay. And I wanted to know on that MRI how much of that part of the brain had been a stroke. Okay. How dense was the injury, was it yeah. the entire thing, etc. The MRI suggested it was just kind of, it wasn't as much, it was mm -hmm. open fast enough, such that it wasn't as much injury as I'd seen before, mm -hmm. and I was a little bit relieved, I guess yeah. if there was a word, mm -hmm. to say yeah. that the stroke was not as severe, I mean, it's large in terms of area affected, yeah. But in terms of density and like total number of areas, I mean, it wasn't as big as I would be worried about. So that's why I was okay waiting until this morning to get another head CT. And this morning kind of validated the fact that the strokes are kind of small in the area of concern. And there was very little swelling. So let's hope that it continues like this. Yeah. And we'll repeat the scan tomorrow. And verify. Okay. Are you guys uh, monitoring any brain activity? No. no. I have no that's not that concern. Like that. Okay. Okay. Sometimes when people have stroke in the location that she had it, it can affect the thalamus, which is the deep structures, which can contribute to ability to wake up awareness and the injury itself may just take time but again I would want to maybe repeat the MRI in a few days to see if both sides were affected 
because I can see the injury on the right side. Mm -hmm. But the left wasn't so clear. So maybe on a repeat, I'll see something on the left or nothing on the left. But I'll ask that question later. Okay. okay. And we've confirmed uh, there's no internal bleeding. Okay. That's fine. The okay. initial worry was that the hemoglobin had dropped from I think, 13 to 10 or something like that after the procedure. And when you're doing an angiogram, you risk bleeding into the thigh. And so the thought was a concern for that. The repeat lab test showed that it was actually, instead of going from 13 to 10, it would just went to like 12 and a half. Okay. okay. So the repeat was very reassuring. And then mm -hmm. we went ahead and they did the scan anyway. And we looked at the blood vessels. And on the artery over there, it's a small injury to the wall. Mm -hmm. But it's something we can monitor with an ultrasound and um, not necessarily bleeding around it so much as just focal injury to the vessel. It's not, and that's okay. We see Just for him, um, we're good. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just a last word huh. before you guys. Mm. You know, down. My sister's a good, a decent person. Yes. She's also a service care that you guys are too. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to give her the best care possible. Oh, she yes. has a life, she has a career, she has we heard. She, is yeah. a therapist? Uh, uh, physical occupational therapist. therapist. Mm -hmm. Down the street. Down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Down the street. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I, I want yeah. you guys to oh. take care of the best possible. Yeah. If some meds, they may cost a lot, but mm -hmm. if they help her, go ahead. Oh, Good to her. No, um, I, uh, you know, we, we'll find some how to pay for it. You know? I, uh, I want you guys to understand that. Yes, yes. There's, I will very much so. People this age, um, I tend to pull out all the stops. So. Yeah, she shouldn't have this. I mean, no. Uh, the, I, I mean, we never anticipate this to happen to her. I mean, never. All the blood tests before two or three years ago. All the physical came out yeah. to be perfect. Exactly. Yeah. No high cholesterol, no high blood pressure, yeah. everything looks good. All of a sudden, we get a call that she had a stroke. Yeah. That's why they call it a stroke, yeah. because you're just immediately struck down. Yeah. Right up so, the road. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, it's still perplexes oh. us that we're with you. Yeah. It's possible. She's so dead. Huh? Bethesda. During the pandemic, yeah, they got closed down, so mm -hmm. her team were split up, and she went to St. Joe's, yeah, and St. Joe's uh, rehab department was uh, also decided to be removed, and so then she came over to uh, uh, West Campus, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, the rehab so, over there. Yeah, yeah. she'll yeah. see. So we send lots. Of yeah. So she's probably seen a lot of ours. Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing her, so yeah. we gotta give her the best. Oh, of course. We got her. Yeah, you're, 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 you're
ตอนนี้ชาวเอ่อชาวเลปอเตียเอ่อตุตุนิเอ่อเอ่อออตอฮอลลิจาลาออตอออจิตอฮอลลิจาลูเจยอตุงยอลิจาลาเนี่ยน